All right, everyone. Let's work through our challenge, create function with input. The directions say, create a function called create function with input that accepts one input and returns a function. When that created function is called, it should return the input that was passed to create function with input when it was first created. So let's go over here to our code editor and let's go ahead and set up our function body first of all. So we're going to call our function create function with input. And we know that this function takes in one input. So now that we have our function body set up, let's go ahead and pseudocode the rest of this function definition. So we know that inside our function create function with input, we want to create a new function. And inside that function, we are going to want to return out the value of the input that was originally passed into create function with input. And then Finally, we're going to want to return the function definition of the new function that we created here. All right, now that we're done with our pseudocode, let's go ahead and start coding out the rest of this function called create function with input. So let's create our new function here, and we're going to call this new function print input. Inside this print input function, we're going to simply return out the value of the input that was passed in here for create function with input. And then we're going to return the function definition of print input from our create function with input function. Perfect. And now if we go and uncomment these lines down here, we're setting up a variable called sample func. We're setting it equal to the returned result from create function with input being passed in the input of a string sample. So the evaluation of create function with input being passed the string sample should evaluate to the function definition of print input that we defined here. So that when we run sample func down here, we are running the function definition of print input just under its new name, sample function, or sample func, rather. So we should see in our console the string sample. Perfect. And if we continue down, we uncomment these two lines. We're doing the similar thing where we're setting up a variable hello func, setting it equal to the evaluated result of create function with input being passed the string hello this time. So when we console log the invocation of hello func, we're really running print input under its new name, and the return value from it is going to be the original input value that was sent in here, which would be the string hello. So we should see in our console the string hello. And we did. Perfect. And that's going to be it.